guesses on the theme today? Sibling rivalry. Sibling rivalry. Very good. Yes, that's it. I tried to trick you up by um, tossing out the election memorabilia, hoping you might think of, of that rivalry, which we've just witnessed. And that is the biggest and most oh, yeah, contentious competition in politics. <clears throat> But I'm here today to talk to you about a different kind of rivalry, rivalry, one that can be even more backstabbing, dirty, and low down than politics. And often, there is no winner. Of course, I'm talking about sibling rivalry. I have two older brothers. <laughs> I have two older brothers, and today is my oldest brother's birthday. He's 44. That my brothers are seven and four years older than I am, and their names are Mike and David. We really didn't have a rivalry. They were so much older than I was, they just tortured me, and we called it playing. That's I really was their source of entertainment. You know that game where you stand and fall straight back and they promise to catch you? They never caught me, not one time. They always said they weren't ready, or I was, as a scrawny six-year-old, I was too heavy for them to catch. They never caught me. <laughs> um, my oldest brother happens to be adopted, and when we were growing up, he and my other older brother used to say, Elizabeth, we have a secret to tell you. And Mike used to say, I'm not really adopted, you are. <laughs> Mom and Dad just didn't want to hurt your feelings, so we just played along like I'm the adopted one, but really, it's you. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was not very nice. The worst thing they used to do to me, though, is my biggest brother would call me the B word. You know the one I'm talking about. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> and when he would do that, he'd say, oh, you're just a baby. Then he would put his hand, I'd start swinging immediately, you know, <laughs> swinging and kicking and punching. And all he would do is put his hand out on my forehead, <laughs> and it's just, and he'd stand there laughing. Ha, 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 you can't touch me. So. I learned a lot of things from the boys. First of all, don't rat on your friends. Never cry if you're hurt. And if mom and dad ever asked me where Mike and David were, the right answer was always, I don't know. <laughs> Today, our functionaries will act as the favorite child and be tattletales if we don't follow them. As I mentioned, my brothers are older than I am. We lived down in the country while I was growing up, so I didn't have a lot of other people to play with, so I tagged them behind them and followed them around quite a bit. Often, they were doing things which were not permitted by my parents, <laughs> and I thought it was my role to inform them how much trouble they would be in if they, were, <laughs> if they ever got caught. So one of my uh, most memorable incidents of this was my brothers used to steal cigarettes from my dad and go down in the basement and smoke them. And my dad was a big, hardcore, big, big, burly guy, and he smoked Camel no filters. Okay? Those are hardcore cigarettes. So they'd go down into the basement, and I would sneak down there too and say, If mom and dad catch you, you're going to get spanking. And they thought about this for a minute and realized I was right. Man. I didn't realize what a bad idea that was at the time for me to point out how much trouble they were going to be in because I was the only one who could get them in trouble. All of a sudden, they throw me to the ground, one gets on top of me, and starts doing Indian torture <laughs> on my chest. The other one holds my knobs, they stick a lighted cigarette into my mouth, and I'm like, ah, oh, no, no, no. They're like, now if you tell on us for smoking, we can tell on you. Oh. <laughs> Brothers are loving that one. <laughs> I would just like to say that a recent report has come out saying that some of the most important relationships that we have in our lives actually are that of our siblings. Our parents often leave us early uh, in our young adult years or middle adult years. Our spouses often don't join us until our 20s or 30s. But our siblings are the ones who've been there throughout, from birth until late in life. So I hope that this meeting has reminded you of some of the reasons that you like or dislike <laughs> and hopefully love your siblings. 
So uh, go home and give them a call and let them know that you think about them. I now return control of the meeting to the president, Dr. Fred Sapphire.